When President Joseph Kabila finally made it clear that he will not be seeking re-election and handed over the baton to Emmanuel Ramazani Shadari, it ended two years of speculation and anxiety characterized by protests and violent confrontations between police and demonstrators. Some of his critics, like Martin Fayulu, who wants to be president, says Kabila's legacy is tainted. Today, uh, we don't have any security. The security is a big issue. There is no peace. Kabila has uh, scattered the country. Kabila legacy is poverty. Congolese, we became poor, poor. The president inherited a country that was just getting out of a civil war back in 2001. His father had been assassinated and he was thrust in the thick of the Democratic Republic of Congo's complex politics. He's credited by some for unifying a country that was divided, bringing a sense of normalcy, reforming the military and starting an ambitious rebuilding program. When Kabila became president, there were few paved roads in Kinshasa and none at all in many other parts of the country. That has changed, especially in the capital. He's over the years promised to build a network of roads linking different parts of the country. Some people say that what he's done is not good enough. But his advisors say he's done what he could in incredibly difficult times. While doing that, we kept on hearing all sorts of bad things about him, bad mouthing, sanctions here, sanctions there, uh, wars that came from outside to come and invade the country. So while fighting a war, he was still building what I've just said, the basic infrastructure, what is road, ports, airports, bridges, you name it. In marketplaces like this one, in the heart of Kinshasa, people say they want a leader who's going to make their lives more bearable. They want the basics, an end to corruption, jobs for their children, and to feel they're living in one of the most resource-rich countries in the world. I want someone to stabilize the economy so I can take my children to school, feed my family, and even afford to buy a house. Kabila is 47 years old, a shrewd politician. Many people we've talked to say whatever his legacy, the fact that he's agreed not to run for a third term can only be a good thing for a country that has never seen a peaceful transition of power. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Kinshasa.